Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole H. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I made this spiderweb vase with only a few supplies. This vase is creepy and spooky, and most of all, it's easy to make. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I made this vase. So for all the details, make sure to keep watching. <laughs> Pull up, I'm outside, waiting by the Alright guys, so here's everything that I used. A vase, some black spray paint, also hot glue gun sticks, a hot glue gun. I purchased these spiders from Dollar Tree but ended up not using them because they were too big. And then also I have these purple and black flowers also from Dollar Tree. The vase I'm using was just a vase I had laying around the house. However, Dollar Tree has plenty for only a dollar. Okay, so first step, I have my hot glue gun loaded and ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place one line of hot glue right down the center of the vase going towards the bottom. Now I'm going to make more lines fanning out from that first line, also meeting right there at the bottom where the first line ended. Make sure to take your time, hot glue can get a little messy. Notice that my lines are not necessarily straight, but that's okay. The most important thing is that all the lines meet right at the bottom together. I think this side looks pretty good, so now it's time to do the other half. Same process on this side, lines fanning out from that center line, all meeting down at the bottom together. Are you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, what are you waiting for? I do tons of different things on my channel, but lately I've been focusing on DIY projects, specifically from Dollar Tree. I have a ton of things in mind for Halloween and fall, so you don't wanna miss a thing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. I'm gonna finish drawing my lines in the hot glue and then I will be back to show you how I web them together. Notice these little strings of hot glue. You can remove those with alcohol on a cotton swab and just rub those off, or you can leave them on for a more realistic spider web. And now I'm webbing the lines together with the hot glue. So I'm just moving from line to line, curving the hot glue upward. And I'm only going to make about three more lines to connect the web. And just remember, when moving line to line, curve the hot glue upward. This was my very first time doing this, so it was a little difficult curving those lines upward with the hot glue. However, I think it looked good either way. I'm going to continue connecting the lines to finish off my web, so just keep watching and the next step will be outside for spray paint. Initially, when I showed you the supplies that I'll be using, I showed you that big spider. Unfortunately, it was way too big for this vase. If you're able to find something smaller, then that would be ideal. However, once you see the end results of this vase, you'll see that it's really not even needed.
And just remember, if you'd like to remove those little strings of hot glue, just a little dab of alcohol on a cotton swab or a piece of paper towel will wipe those right off. And this is what my vase looks like with the web all finished. So I'll meet you outside for the next step. Here's the spray paint that I'll be using. I picked it up from Michaels for about $4 a can. And again, here is my vase with my web on it. And I'm sitting the vase on a trash bag so I don't get any paint on my driveway. And as I spray paint, I'm circling around the vase to apply thin coats of spray paint moving my arm from right to left, right to left, so that everything is thin and even and no drip marks. I spray it around the vase about five times and then I let it dry for about 15 minutes. Then I sprayed a second coat only where the spider web is. And again, let it dry for about 15 minutes. And here's my vase all finished. It looks stunning. I know it's not supposed to look stunning. It's supposed to look creepy and scary, but I absolutely love how this came out. So in total with purchasing a vase from Dollar Tree, this vase only cost $6 to make. And again, here are the flowers that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I got two bundles of purple flowers and one of the black. As you can see, these have little eyeballs in them, little spiders, so super cute and scary, and a little sparkle there as well. So all I'm doing is just simply cutting off the tag and placing this right in the vase, and that's it. And here is my spiderweb vase with my flowers. I just love how this came out and how inexpensive this was to make. Make sure you check out Dollar Tree for all of the supplies. But again, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all next time.